Welcome to another Minecraft video. I'm going to be showing you how to do the binary switching now uh, with this absolutely garbage excuse for a train station. Obviously this is just for tutorial purposes. Uh, I wouldn't wish this sort of a station onto anybody because it's a bloody mess. Uh, what I'm going to do now is teach you know the binary switching part so I think I'm gonna have to do this in the sky because I've stupidly built in the very corner of the map uh, and there's walls so therefore I can't get out there it's impossible see fences ah right so I'm going to build it in the sky because why not Okay, here we have the first two sections. Uh, I suppose I should do the rest. Okay, this is a super basic uh, switching. Oh, and of course it's getting night. Why does it always get night time? Now, of course, you can have this anywhere. Uh, I am going to... <laughs> do it like this, because... This is the easiest way I can do it without having tons without building multiple multiple stories uh, okay that'll work sure are you kidding the one time I need cobble I'm using two two levers. This is just a binary and it's only going to be two two different tracks. So we've got two different things here. The second one is going to switch both. The first one's just going to switch the first one. So you choose your destination. We want to go left left. Nah, that's probably too hard to get around there. So, so let's go like that. Now this is track four. I'm gonna run back all the way to arrivals because this is one pimp station. Oh yeah. And they're down to arrivals. So now there's a number of different ways to do this. Obviously I am totally cheaping out and doing it the easiest possible way that I can think of right now. Ah, fine. I'll put some effort into it. You're probably saying, well, how is the track going to get past the redstone? <sighs> Fine. Yeah, it's still long enough.
Did a cow get in it again? I oh, know, that's just stepping on it. That's cool. That's another good thing about this system is that you can hear when other people or monsters decide to use your system. And there we go. Four distinct directions. Obviously, if you add one more, uh, it's going to be eight. And that's awesome. If I want to go over to this side, it's uh, that way and not. Obviously, if your buttons are aligned the same direction, uh, you can use, you know, say up is one, down is zero. Uh, and there we go. So, one, one happens to be back to arrivals, which is definitely what we want for the sake of this test. Now it depends if these cows or they are. Urgh. But notice, despite the fact that all these cows keep jumping all over the stuff and the buttons, because of this pulse, this always resets and it always hangs up there. It doesn't stop at the door. So you can help us there, Mr. Cow. There we go. And all the way back to arrivals. And that's how you do the switching. The easiest way is to do this uh, one step below. So, in this case, you would do it like this. Now, if you had a block up there, uh, like a different color block, you'd be able to see which track is which. So, one, two. Obviously, we're not going to be able to do that. One, two, so it's this one here. Normally, it's wired up. Like that. With a torch on top. That will work the same as this wire here. So, you can do it both ways. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video of the binary switching circuit and stay tuned for more and let's finish this freaking awesome <laughs> freaking awesome station that we have here. Uh, see you in the next video.